So in this video, we're going to be grouping our styles together. And the reason we're doing that is so that whenever we get our questions from the API and the user makes the correct choice, we can change the option to make it look like the correct one. If the user makes the wrong option, we can change it to look like the wrong one. And we're doing this with just a class name. So we're going to group our styles in such a way that only one class name determines if the option is going to look like the correct one or the wrong one or neither of them. So let's get started. So my VS code, the first thing I'll do is to identify the tag that has the most option, which is this option number C, option letter C rather. The reason for that is it has this extra tags we added to show the plus 10. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to use the same option, but we want to change just one class. So changing of one class will make it look like the wrong option or the correct option or neither of them. So let me identify the one that has uh, the most tags, which is this one here. And what I will do here is I'm going to add a class here that says option default. Because I want to start styling for the default option. So my goal is when I add this option default, it's going to change this Miss Marvel to look like as if nothing has been uh, tapped or chosen. Okay. So I'm going to go to my custom the CSS here. I'm going to write the custom CSS styles. So let me just put a comment that says custom custom styles here. Okay, and then I'll go to my styles. I need to import that custom.css into uh, my main CSS style. So just before where you have utilities, this is how you do it in Tailwind. You add your custom style. So I can go ahead and type everything I want in here, but I'm just separating it into different uh, CSS files. So here I'll just simply import custom.css. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that class, which is option default. I'm going to use the apply derivative from uh, Tailwind's documentation. And the way I'm going to do that is by saying add apply and I'll put a class name. So let me add just this class that says cursor uh, pointer. So let me just save all my files. Oops. Okay. Now what you would notice is, uh, let me, okay, still saving. Okay. That's done. Now what you notice is that when I uh, place my mouse over the Miss Marvel option, you can see that the cursor changes to a pointer. So you can see how we apply the custom style or a custom class to this option here. So how does the, default option looks like the default option. We don't have this plus 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my custom, the CSS, and I'm going to target this div here. I want to hide all of this div. So this is the first div inside the options uh, parent. This is the first div. So I'm going to target that div by saying dot option default. Uh, let me say div, uh, uh, let's say div and child one. So I'm going to apply the hidden class. So that is going to hide that uh, plus 10 for us. But I can notice that it also hid other things. So we're going to bring those ones back. So let's go back to our home the view. There's something that is hidden we don't want it to hide, which is um, this option ID. So I'm going to bring this option ID back. Now, how do I make reference to this option ID? Okay. This is the second is inside the second child D. Okay. So I'm going to do this way just so that it's more explanatory. I'll say option default div. Remember end child. Now let's go back and see what we have. So this is the first end child, which we just hid give a space. This is a second div child. And inside the second one, we have this first one. So I will say div child and child two. And I also say div 
and child one so that's making reference to that option id and i'll just say uh, apply uh, let's say apply in line let's save so that brings it back okay and uh, we need to change the style for the options the text itself is gray dark gray and the uh, the surrounding is light gray so in here i can also add the style i'll say bg uh bg gray i think bg gray 400 i think that's what it is and b uh, sorry text gray uh i think it was 800 so you can see that changes and then i'm going to make reference to this green so let's go back to our home the view uh this green is actually the let's say first child second actually the second child okay so let's go back to our custom the css i'll copy this no let me not copy it let me just type it out again option default div and nope, and child So that's in child two. So what am I applying? I'm going to make um, apply BG white and uh, text uh, test gray 800. Good. So you can see that looks like as if the user has not even clicked anything. Now let me go back to my home the view. Now I'm going to remove that option default so you can see what's going on. So I'm just going to remove this class, this option default class from the parent of the options. So just remove that. See, it looks like the correct option. So when I put that back, it's going to look like the person hasn't even clicked on it. So this is what we want to do. Okay. So using just one class, we can change how it looks. So let me go ahead and do the same thing for when it's wrong. Uh, I'm going to call the class option wrong. Uh, let's go to CSS. Uh, I can copy all of this. Let me just add a comment here that says wrong custom classes and paste that. Uh, okay, we're going to change all the defaults we have here to wrong. Uh, okay, apply because so this one is correct. We also want to have that uh, blue thing hidden for when it's wrong, but we're going to change some things here. So when it's wrong, the text is white. The text of the uh, the whether A, B, or C is white, and the background is gray 800. And then the background itself is now white, is a uh, red. Let me be sure which kind of red it is. Let me go back from the view red 600 red 600 and the text is going to be white so save that it might look like we've not done anything but let's just go back to our home the view i'm going to change see here we have option default i'm going to change to option wrong so it's going to make the miss marvel to look like it's a wrong option so save that voila you can see automatically it makes it look like the wrong option if i change it to default it's gonna make it look like the default option so the last one we need to do is for when the answer is actually correct so let's go to our custom that css let me add more styles here that says correct correct uh, custom classes and then uh, let me let's copy everything we have here uh paste and change all the wrong to correct okay so for the correct option we want the one that was initially hidden to be visible so i'll change this hidden to inline uh -huh. we actually don't need this inline here at the second place so you can leave it if you want we don't need it so when the, the option is correct uh i forget now okay when the option is correct this c should look uh the text should be white and then the surrounding should be dark gray so this is correct so what we need to change here is this red let's change it to green 
I will save. Uh, let's go to home the view. Let me change this default now to correct and save. So you can see how it looks like. Now what I'm going to do is since we already established this uh, uh, stuff going on for us, that's when we change the class name, it changes the style. Now I'm going to remove some unnecessary classes that we have here. Um, I know we don't need BG green anymore because that is determinant on what class we add here. Uh, BG gray, I don't need the BG gray here. Um, what else do we need? Mm, no. What else do we need here? Let me just see. Okay, we don't need this text white here. Because that's determinant on what the class is going to look like. Okay, fine. Okay, I think that's, I think that's, that's it. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll just get rid of the other styles. Uh, the other options, but I'll put them back anyway. But let's just get rid of them. I'll get rid of this one. Because we want to have one option, okay? One option with the most tags, and we'll just change the class name so that it looks the way it's meant to look. So I'm going to get rid of the other ones, apart from the Miss Marvel option, because that one has the most tags. So let's get rid of every other thing here. Let's see. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere. Okay, so we just have one option. Now I'm going to duplicate that option. I think I mistakenly deleted something here. Let me just add it back. Uh, okay. Okay, so we just have one option. Now I'm going to duplicate that. Let's say copy this, paste 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 so that's in four places uh, let's see you have a one in it's going to be in here so paste that in four places I'm still getting a one and I just make sure that I'm doing the right thing I need to copy this guy paste that in four places okay so we have all of them looking the same so now we're going to tweak just that class name to make it look the way it's meant to be so the first one is going to be option default okay and then the is meant to be a and then it was store So let's save that so we have that there the second one was the wrong option so we just change that option wrong and then we change the letter to b and then we change the answer itself it was dr strange okay so we have that there we can leave c the way it was or the way it is now because it's it's correct and then the last one was hawk so we change it to change that class to default So default, we change the letter here to D, and then we change this to Hulk and save. So despite having um, that plus 10 in all of them, despite having many other tags, you notice that just changing of one class name made it look the way it's meant to look. So that brings us to the end of this video. So if you like the video, do leave a thumbs up and please subscribe. I notice that most of us are not subscribed to the channel. Please subscribe. It's going to encourage me to make more of these videos. So see you guys in the next video.